somewhere. It just flew right by my house. There he is. Already harassing me. The day's barely just begun. Good morning, my friends. Today is the 16th of February. You see that pulsing coming out of my front lens? That's the front camera lens. Looks like it's going at about 30 frames per second. And that's because it's constantly recording. Look at my phone's not recording. Nothing's going on. Okay. It's all just always doing this. I have video evidence of me doing perimeter checks while looking at my phone and I'd see this thing pulsing on my face. And I was like, wow, they really do listen to every word you say as well as watch every move you make including what you say to your friends and what you talk about on the phone or text through social media here's the cold hard evidence okay look at the rf frequency that is like being cooked hey what's up youtube it's eric from the ancient of days youtube channel good to be back i'm also on BitChute. all the links are in the description box if you'd like to subscribe uh what you saw in the very beginning there was actually pulsing from my phone because what they do is we should be well aware that they can go ahead and listen in on your conversations they actually record every move that you make and every word or text that you speak or type is uh, broadcast then uh, back to the super computers, the quantum computers, the AI matrix, because they want to get all the uh, information that you can. Now, you can't see that light with the naked eye. That's an infrared light. I first noticed it on November 21st through the ADT security system. Now watch this here as I was just walking around doing a perimeter check because we have had vandalism up here. So I do perimeter checks uh, frequently at night and I take a walk around. This time I had a flashlight as you could see here and also in the same hand I had my phone on me that you saw in the very opening clip. Now let's watch this because you're going to see my phone that's in my hand pulsing like a strobe light right onto my face and onto my neck. Let's have a look. You see that? Let's get another look. Okay, this is a regular speed. This is the actual clip, the original video clip from the ADT recording. Okay? So that's that. Let's get a look at it a little better here. This is where I enhanced it and, and slowed it down, backed it up so that we can get a good look at this because uh, people need to be aware that literally every move you make and every word you speak and every text that you send out to a friend or loved one is being documented and recorded. Let's have a look here from November 21st as I went and enhanced the footage. You'll see it's the strobe light coming from the front lens camera. You see the strobe right in my neck, my face. Now we back it up, same thing. I'm gonna move it forward again. Notice that, okay? That's because they know every move that we are all making. There's no secrets hidden from the New World Order in this beast system. So at about 30 frames per second, they know exactly where I'm walking, when I'm walking, and that's likely why it feels like they're always one step ahead of me because I can't tell you how many times they have shut me down just today alone, guys. When I talk about shutting me down, just like yesterday, uh, yeah, they got my computer uh, compromised. I logged on to uh, a friend's live stream and then all of a sudden the like button was clicked and it started scrolling around as if somebody else was using my computer and then uh yeah recently i called uh lawyers uh, a lawyer's office because i'm looking to file an indictment against the u.s government and the clandestine agencies for illegal uh, assault and surveillance as well as many other 
charges that I'm looking to uh, seek restitution for. So I talked to this guy, Jim, one of the lawyers, for about 10 to 15 minutes. And as he was explaining to me what I had to talk about to the next department he was going to shift me to, he was in the middle of speaking and he went completely blank. And I was like, hello, hello, sir, you there? Jim, you there? And then it hung up. So then a couple minutes later, I went and I, I to dial him back. And it wouldn't even go through, guys. That's how easily they can just shut you down. Just the other day, I was recording. I was doing some recordings out in the backyard, as I typically do. My phone just instantly shut off. The camera shut clean off. Now, that's also happened with my P900. So, they have the ability to shut you down in any way, shape, or form that they so choose. We are truly living in a police state. So let's look at my phone here. This is what you saw in the beginning. But let's get a full look at it here. Good morning, my friends. Today is the 16th of February. Probably about 6 a.m. or so. You see that pulsing coming out of my front lens? 647. I'm like at 6 o'clock. But yeah, look at this pulsing. Okay, and because it's it's uh, pulsing at likely 30 pulses per second, it may not look like that. It may just look like, uh, you know, a handful of pulses. And that's because we can't see at 30 frames per second, at 30 pulses per second, I should say. Let's continue to watch. It's going at about 30 frames per second. And that's because it's constantly recording. Look at my phone's not recording. Nothing's going on. Okay. It's all just always doing this. That is the cold hard evidence right there. You don't see that pulsing light. It's likely infrared uh, technology that's used to uh, to collect information through the camera because we know that even our TVs are listening devices as well as every smart device that you have in your home. Even the light bulbs is called information weapons. It, they, they collect and gather real-time biological and real-time data of what you are eating, thinking, and feeling. Now let's get a listen to this video here because this is going to talk about going all the way back to, uh, you know, Project Paperclip when we brought in the Nazis through when we picked up right where they left off with this behavior modification technology. It's remote MK Ultra behavior modification technology. Now let's listen to this. The magnetic frequencies can tap into individual brains and influence people's emotions. The cognitive processes of the human brain are really quite simple. And if you understand how they work, you can make entire populations think and decide uh, the manner in which you wish. Many experts are skeptical of such an Orwellian scenario, but Persinger thinks the implications are chillingly real. Suppose you generate a field that produces fear, fundamental fear, in large numbers of people. And then, over the television, more traditional ways, you say, the reason we're having this fear is because of this particular group. And now you start to move the population believing in the direction that you wish. To influence 250 million people, the equivalent of the entire population of the United States, may not be that difficult. According to Dr. Persinger, you already have the technology, satellites and television, and radio transmitters. Mind control may already be happening. We know the mysterious PSYOPs plane can beam persuasive sounds and pictures into people's television sets. Will it someday beam disturbing frequencies directly into the mind? Did you hear that? Putting those disturbing frequencies into people's minds. Now, how far does this video go back? Look at this. It looks like they added the color. This has to be from the 70s. So, yes, this is a real serious issue. This was planned a long time ago. Let's continue to watch. Paradoxically, the promise of truly bloodless war may come only with the most devastating weapon of all. If the human mind and will become the battleground of the future, war 2020 may be, may be won without so much as a whimper, let alone a bag. 
Wow, that is very disturbing because it's not only disturbing but prophetic. Now let's get into some of the symptoms here of Wi-Fi and EMF radiation sickness because I am very, very sensitive to these frequencies, not to mention I'm a targeted individual. And you're going to see here when we get into the field testing that I did yesterday on the 16th that Yes, it's as if we are walking around and uh, we're standing in front of microwave ovens. And of course, over a long period of time, you're going to start to develop all sorts of, of conditions and syndromes and side effects that people are going to run right to the doctor for. So what's great about these silent weapons for a silent war is that the pharmaceutical industry and the... Um, doctors get wealthy the healthcare industry as well as they go ahead and thin the herd through eugenics so they're getting richer as they use the sheep for the slaughter is what i'm trying to tell you my friends all right some individuals have reported a wide range of non-specific health problems that they attribute to low level exposure of electromagnetic fields emfs the symptoms are most commonly reported include headaches you guys got headaches i certainly do body pain oh my gosh i was just complaining to my wife about how much my legs are killing me lethargy tinnitus those that ringing in the ear those modulating frequencies how many of you guys feel nauseous on a lot of days or you have burning sensations maybe your limbs feel like they're just on fire or you have heart arrhythmia and anxiety so you're having heart palpitations you feel anxious you feel a little bit paranoid almost like you're being watched and that's because your senses okay your senses are aware to the fact that a computer in the next room is listening to what you're saying so that's your intuition your intuition receives what's happening so if you feel like you're being watched it's because you're being watched by all of the technology that we have within our homes it's not that somebody's outside your window watching you they may have have cameras and drones and other types of uh, systems out there that are used for surveillance but that's what we're feeling we're feeling like we're being watched because of our intuition of how the new world order is keeping track of every move and every word that we speak okay so let's get a look at the field testing that i did just yesterday and i will narrate after we go ahead and listen to a few words is the 16th of February 2021 you can see we are in the car right now okay so look at this okay radio frequency 36.47 let's let it go okay look at the EMF says we hit pause here 8.42406 let's go ahead and look at the card that comes with this and EMF what was that at EMF at 8.4 okay that would be not recommended for long time stay well how do you avoid long time stay when it's in the ambient air all around you how about for radio frequency wi-fi 24.06 well let's have a look under rf technology this is the card that comes with the meter well if you're at 24 milliwatts let's see you're in between here between one milliwatt greater than one milliwatt and, and less than 100 in this case so you're in between not recommended for long time stay and avoid long time stay in that area well again we can't avoid the long time stay in the area because it's in the ambient air all around us 24 hours a day seven days a week let's continue to watch okay because this is going to get absolutely crazy so now it bumps up to 32 that's even higher now it jumps to 54 for a radio frequency and six milligauss with an electro field at 51 and people are wondering why they can't sleep why they're having all sorts of these strange symptoms that they're running to the doctors to get medications for let's look at the card again radio frequency well again not recommended for long time stay avoid long time stay in that area 
What was the EMF on that? The EMF was reading at 6.0, and this was on the back roads. Well, anything over 2.5 milligauze is checked regularly, but we're under 30, so it's not recommended for long time stay. This is very dangerous. Let's continue to watch because this is just going to get crazier and crazier. 36.47. Now, here it is. Remember Mark Steele right here when he showed the phased array dielectric lens, okay, that broadcasts those directed energy RF 60 gigahertz frequency pulse technology. Well, we're driving down the road, and what do you think are along the sides of the road? Of course, all of those LED street lamps. So I get target acquired, and then it broadcasts a directed energy beam that you would typically see, just like right here in the video, Reptilian Apocalypse, the Archons Manifest. These would be coming from micro drones. These are directed energy beams. Okay, documented with my EMF meter. Some of these pulse well over a thousand. You got one, two, three, four, five of them, and they are used uh, as a conductor with the nano metals that are all throughout the air that we actually breathe. We're filled with these metals. So we have a EMF at only 5.1, and that's because we're on a back road. But 179 is extremely high. But my gosh, look at this. Now we go by the next LED light. I get target acquired, and then they go ahead and they then shoot one of these directed energy beams at me, and it registers at 247.3. Let's go back to our EMF card for radio frequency right here. That's double. Two and a half times the max on the card. Avoid long time stay in that area. Well, it's impossible to avoid long time stay in that area when it's all around you, okay? And the EMFs are, you know, staying steady. So we got 296.2 as we drive by another LED light. That is now three times, three times the max on the card. Avoid long time stay in that area. Well, if avoid long time stay in that area is an hour or two, then... What are you going to do when you are outside and you are surrounded by a radio frequency, military grade, 60 gigahertz RF pulse at 296.2 high? You know, it's like I should be at a power line. Even 6.1 milligauss for an EMF is in between check regularly and not recommended for long time stay. Let's continue. And then it drops. But look at the radio frequency. Okay, this is so dangerous. 233.3. Let's get a look at the card. Radio frequency right here. That's two and a third times higher than the max on the card. Avoid long time stay in that area. Well, we're surrounded by it. It's impossible. Okay, this is what I want you to look at. The EMFs, all right? 20 milligauss while we were at the pharmacy. Okay, where does that fit in? Right here. It's getting close to 30 milligauss. Not recommended for long time stay. It's high. And I'm inside the freaking car. If I go outside the car, I wonder if this thing's like 50. Look at this. 997 for an electro field. 997 for an electro field. That is off the charts, literally. Okay, electro field, 500 volts per meter. That is just about double what is the max on the card. And we are seeing this in the environment in the downtown area here in northern Connecticut. Absolutely unbelievable. And look at the EMF, electromagnetic field, 39 milligauss. Well, that puts us nearly at the top of the card. Avoid long time stay in that area. That means that is a dangerous level. And never mind that. 997 volts per meter for an electro field. People wear hazardous suits to work around electro fields that are pulsing at that high level. And then it drops down to 633 and then jumps back up to 997. 
and then down to 93 with a 24 milligauss. Again, that puts us right at 30 milligauss, not recommended for long time stay in that area. This was the field test work that I did yesterday, and 5G is barely even on. I am willing to bet, and I'm not a betting man, my friends. I'm willing to bet that once 5G goes fully hot, we're going to be looking at not 24 milligauss, that puts us at a very dangerous level already, but we'll be looking at likely pretty near 100 milligauss for an electromagnetic frequency once they go ahead and fully amp up this 5G grid. Okay, this is uh, winding down. You see how the volts per meter are jumping up? And then that's it again, 997.39 again. Electro field was nearly doubled on the max of the card. And then uh, EMF at 39 puts us at the high end to avoid long time stay in that area. That is so dangerous, okay? Now when I got home, I realized because I didn't record the entire time after a while I put it down. Then I realized as I traveled past one of those LED lamps, Look at what I got hit with for a target acquired radio frequency beam at a peak of 1024 for RF Wi-Fi radiation, 60 gigahertz. Let's get a look at that right here for radio frequency. That is over 10 times the max on the card for a radio frequency pulse being directed at me through one of those LED lights with that phased array target acquire system, that antenna system that they used with the uh, dielectric lens. It's 180 degrees, so once it targets you, it identifies you with that same pulse technology that comes out of your camera for facial recognition, okay, just like that. It recognizes who you are, if you are targeted and in our system, in the supercomputer AI system, the quantum computers, you are going to get a laser beam shot directly at you. And in this case, it was at 1,024 milliwatts again. That is 10 times plus the max on the card that comes with this meter. I mean, this is just unfreaking believable. Okay, so let's let's get a listen to what I had to say here, and then we'll continue on. I am back home here where I live in northern Connecticut. I want you to notice now the radio frequency peak. 1,024 milliwatts so that happened when i had the cam off before so that goes to tell you that um it came from a lens that's a target acquire system from the led light on the very top you'll see that see that on top that's a weapon that is a weapon with a phased array antenna Target acquire system, weapon system, military grade 60 gigahertz. Now, bird die-offs. We've been hearing about that. That's pretty wild. So let's get a look here. Startling video shows hundreds of birds crash into the ground in a mass bird fall. All right, well, let's get a quick look here. First, we'll look at this one. I know people have seen it, but let's get a look. This was in Mexico. Wow, that's just amazing, okay? Most of them lived. They just fell straight flat out of the sky, and they were saying it looked like it was likely a predator that was coming after the flock, and they just fell to the ground. Let's watch one more time. Some people are trying to say it was a hoax. I really looked into this. This isn't a hoax, okay? Look at, they just dropped. They were flying, and then they just dropped to the ground. Some of them look like they're probably very injured or dead, but most of them took off. 
Okay, and this isn't the only place where it's happening. Let's get a look right here at this video. Okay, yeah, I actually had a bird fly directly into my no trespassing sign on the tree. I heard a clunk, a big clunk, turned around, there's the bird on the ground with his neck twisted halfway around its body. It was unbelievable. So, yeah, guys, it's, it's obvious that it's the frequencies that's causing these things to happen. So, let's get a look here. The internet is freaking out over a video of hundreds of birds dropping dead. Well, of course, this is here. Yeah, well, that's terrifying video shows hundreds of blackbirds mysteriously falling from the sky. Many nose diving to their deaths. Okay, that was on uh, February the 16th, just yesterday. So now we're going to look at from the World Health Organization. Electromagnetic hypersensitivity. It's an actual thing, guys. It really is. You can get disability for it. I've been hearing about it for years. I am extremely sensitive to uh, EMFs and all sorts of Wi-Fi radiation. What is EHS? Uh, EHS is characterized by a variety of nonspecific symptoms which afflicted individuals attribute to exposure to EMF, electromagnetic frequency. The symptoms most commonly experienced include dermatological symptoms such as redness, tingling, and burning sensations. Like I said, I get uh, dryness behind my ears. I have to use a steroid cream because of my headset and the frequencies that broadcast out of it. I get dry patches like right here, and that gets taken care of with the cream, but that can't be good for your, your biology on the inside. It can't be good for your brain. It can't be good for your heart and your organs because these frequencies actually pass through your body. What we see manifest on our skin is just a small bit of it. That really it has nothing to do with what's happening on the inside of our biology. So you get redness, tingling, burning sensations, as well as symptoms, fatigue, tiredness, concentration difficulties. Yeah, I have like ADD, sometimes ADHD. Sometimes I'm very, very tired and I can hardly function. Sometimes I feel dizzy. I have nausea almost every single day. I've talked about the heart palpitations, especially on, on my BitChute channel. If you go all the way down to the very first video I did, I gave a lot of my testimony about what it's like to be a TI, a targeted individual, and I did that because I was hoping that would actually help you guys understand what is happening to you. All right, so you get heart palpitations and digestive disturbances. So sometimes your stomach may just feel just nasty after you eat or certain foods you used to eat don't taste the same. The collection of symptoms is not part of any recognized syndrome. That's because the WHO, especially the World Health Organization, is never going to admit to Wi-Fi radiation being uh, dangerous when it has been overwhelmingly proven to have severe biological effects on every living thing that has a heartbeat and a central nervous system. Now, let's get into target acquired dielectric lenses because on my next video, I wanted to include all this in this video, but my gosh, I had no idea how much video I took yesterday. I actually have the weapon systems and we're going to get into the dielectric lenses that broadcast these frequencies. They're all throughout the tree structures and the antennas. I actually have them recorded, and we're going to get a good look at it. Because that's what Mark Anthony Steele was explaining here in the 5G LED weapon system across the world through the LED lights that were masquerading as lights, but they were actually a weapon system, as you saw 
when I did my field investigation yesterday, I got hit with electro field at nearly a thousand emfs at 39 one last look at the card an ef field for an electro field that's double the max on the card all right and then the emfs was at 39 well that's getting closer to the avoid long time stay in that area well if you're surrounded by these frequencies and you can't escape them that's why I have to wear a actual Faraday hood, a Faraday hoodie, a Faraday hat. Sometimes I double up, and I also have a Faraday blanket. What does it do? It blocks those electromagnetic frequencies, the radio frequencies, the Wi-Fi, all of it. It blocks it. It's not meant for military-grade technology, but it will give you a good barrier you could even get Faraday cages for your bed. They sell them online, but they're very, very expensive if you aren't well off and have money just to burn. Okay, they're thousands of dollars. But I do have a friend that knows how to actually build these Faraday cages, and that is something that we are considering because I can't change what goes on out there, but I can certainly change what goes on in here. All right, guys, so I look forward to seeing you again real real soon we're going to get into some great topics i had to get this out of the way um but yeah all right watch this video if you haven't because mark Steele explains it in great detail please subscribe to the ancient of days on BitChute as well as the ancient of days on uh youtube because i'm going to start putting out short videos like 15 20 minute videos uh, at least two a week, maybe four. I don't know. Uh, I also have a backup channel. All the links will be in the box, guys. Hey, it was fun talking to you guys tonight. It, this wasn't a video I was real excited about doing, but it had to get out because people need to realize why they are feeling the way they are because ever since they turned on this 5G grid, like I said, they're slowly amping it up. They didn't want to just kick it on at 100% because you would just see people dropping like flies. Our bodies couldn't handle that that type of boost from 2.4 gigahertz to 60 gigahertz. That's, you know, 25 times the normal strength that we've been dealing with since the 80s or, you know, mid 80s to 90s. When did all of these syndromes come out, such as fibromyalgia, which is because of GMOs, as well as Wi-Fi radiation, chronic fatigue, uh, people that ha that suffer from chronic migraines, of course, Morgellons, that's done through the chemtrail program. They spray the Morgellons fibers, and there's a certain percentage of people that don't take to it. So those people actually project it out of their body. So their body is not taking to the technology where we are all broadcasting a frequency because we ourselves are already transhuman, but they are upgrading us into a new form of transhuman as they add the third temple into the human host, adding 22 more base pairs, making us 66 or 322 skull and bones esoteric. All right, guys, so it was a great time talking to you tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know some of this stuff is dry, but you had to understand why you feel the way you do. Please share this and get it out, guys. I am so shadow banned that it doesn't matter that I have three profiles on Facebook and two pages and everything else, okay? It doesn't matter. I don't reach anybody. So it would be wonderful if you guys would go ahead and share this work so that people will get educated on this topic. I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Probably tomorrow with just a short vid because I want to start doing much, much shorter videos because people don't have the attention span. Neither do I. I'm not hitting on anybody. I can't watch videos either past 5, 10 minutes. So I don't expect you guys to do it. But what you can do is watch it in 10-minute increments if, you, if you're interested. Much love from my family years, guys. I'll see you very, very soon. God bless. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 
that he may be able to withstand in the evil day.